Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 2 of Slime Rancher. I do indeed hope you guys are enjoying the return to Slime Rancher as much as I am. A lot of fun, things have changed, it's all new, it's all fancy. Last episode, uh, really just getting things started. And I kind of rushed everything a lot, a lot faster than like the first time I played the game. And I think that's benefited me quite a bit. I've already got some Largo started at base, albeit not the most, uh efficient or the best of Largos, but it's literally day two, so what what more can I ask for? I'm gonna get some foods and bring it back to him, see if I can feed the dudes. I didn't even sleep my first night. I guess that just means I'm a bamf or a dummy. Pro probably. Probably a dumb. I'm probably a dumb, but you know what? I'm a dumb with 394 new bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go feed our buddies back at base. They're not all Largos yet, and I want them to be Largos. And I would like to, uh, convert... What are they called? The, uh, the, the, the Gordos. I, I, I like to feed them so they explode and give me some keys so I can unlock some new areas. So feed the big dudes. And I will leave the, the, the blue ports, uh, ports on the ground. I want them, yeah, to convert. There you go, guys. Eat that up, create more of those ports. There's, there's a Cheekin in the corner there. He's, a uh, He's a little bit out of place, but he'll he'll manage. Let me move that blue port around, see if I can drag it into a pink slide. There you go. Converted! Conversion successful! Hey, eat up, eat up, eat up, dudes! More blue ports! More blue ports! Convert all the slimes. And eventually we'll probably get rid of these guys, because pink ports are essentially just worthless. But hey, they're my starting, they're my starting slimes, and I gotta be nice to them. One more needs to be converted. Can I get it? I just remember this working a lot too in the past. I would drag them, and then it would force all the food and all the ports in one spot, <laughs> and they would eat the stuff. It'd be like a way to force feed them. <laughs> it's kind of kind of evil, but hey, no, down my inventory. It was kind of evil, but it worked. Uh, he's gonna eat up here. Come on, somebody. Darn. All right, well, I want to get a little bit of money out of here, and then I'll just leave them go. They'll convert over time naturally anyway. Yeah, so you take these carrots. Mm. Yeah, take the Q-berries. It'd be cool to start farms with them, but I haven't really made them just yet. So the first day, our pink plorts and our rocky plorts are already going down. That stinks. Phosphor plorts are on the rise, and the tabby plorts, too, are going up. I guess, yeah, I should just drop off the pogo fruit. It doesn't do me any good being in my inventory. It's too much food for him, that's for sure. Now I want to go check the, what is it, the, it wasn't the indigo quarry, was it? Was it the indigo quarry? I think it's the indigo quarry, the, the, the rocky place. Let's go uh, just investigate that, see if I can access any part of it. Because back here, uh, there's like that angry, the tunnel with the angry dudes. And I didn't explore it last time around. Unless maybe, you know, it makes a little, little more sense to go feed Mr. Gordo first. We'll start it off with feeding Mr. Gordo here. He's hungry. He's hungry. See that? I just... You can have that. You don't need plort, so I'm not going to shoot a plort at your head. I somehow don't think you'd like that very much. <laughs> and yeah, I'm glad I didn't try and jetpack around there, because I clearly would have fallen to my death. Give me those! Don't let them eat that! Don't let them eat that! Don't let them eat that! Don't don't eat that! That's mine. That is money. Give me the pogo fruit. Show me pogo fruit. Come on, pogo fruit, please. Get my inventory faster. They're going to eat me. Come on! I can hear them rolling! I don't remember taking this long to pull pogo fruit off of a tree. But okay. So we got some rocky dudes, which I guess I could just convert now. But not fun. That, that, okay, uh, no, please don't do that, that's not nice. So here's what I was talking about. Not the angry dudes. I don't know if I remember this many crystals being in here, but it's been a while since I've played. Ooh. Ah, balls. So, it's still walled off, it's still got a, a, a key door thingy here. So we do have to go feed Mr. Gordo. Ow, that's my face! Please don't eat my face! Ow, ow, that, no, it doesn't sound very healthy either. The crunch, that is my brain. <laughs> that actually really hurt. Okay, lesson learned. Don't run through there unless you have full energy and you're just running the whole time. Walking at all is bad. Uh, don't know how much food it takes to feed you. I 
don't really recall, but uh, I'm just gonna have to make some food deliveries. As much as I want to feed my slimes at home, it looks like Big Fatty here needs to eat. Big Fatty needs to eat foods. Mm, where else are we getting food spawns? There's a couple carrot patches, I think. I, I guess I could also feed them hens. There's, a, there's gonna be a bunch of hen hens over here where all the tar slime spawn. Let's see if we can, oh my God, that, I, I think it just despawned. Yeah, it refreshed the area, did you see that? The, uh, the tar that was previously here, he exploded. And then there's a bunch of slimes that fell from the sky, so it, it spawned in a, a whole new assortment of things. That was interesting. Uh, oh, there are some carrots. Carrots, 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 carrots. Uh, I mean, I could convert these dudes, but I guess my focus right now should be the Gordo. I think that just makes the most sense. Is there a Qberry bush right here? There is. Is there anything on it? There's only one Qberry. Don't tell anyone I'm about to do this. Goodbye, Chickadoo. Don't disappear before you hit the water. <laughs> a long time ago, I shot a, a whole bunch of like phosphor slimes, I think. I shot something off the edge, and they all started just like disappearing before they landed. So it was sort of anticlimactic, but I, but at least I know I did it. So there's that. Six carrots and a cubeberry and some hens. I don't really think that's going to be enough for our big fat friend. Um, there are, are they heartbeats. I think there are heartbeat patches over here. Have they grown? The angry dudes. Oh, oh there's some heartbeats. Okay, you know what? Let's let's take those. Star mail received from Thora West. Oh, you oh, nope, nope, not my face. Heartbeat. If you listen closely to it, you can hear a veggie. Oh my God, they're deranged. <laughs> Get away! <laughs> I'm not having them numb on my face either. So I came out with four heartbeats instead of one cuberry, and got some extra chickens. Sounds like a solid deal to me. Any other chicken spawn in? Yeah, not that I'm noticing. I'm coming for you, Gordo. I got some chickens. I got some chickens for you. I got some chickens for you. So we have 10 total veggies and six meats. Still don't know if that's enough for him. Oh, hey, so when you use the map, it like it deactivates. You can't use it anymore. It just unlocks, I guess, the first map. All right, makes sense. New things to me, gotta learn sometime. Oh, that's just the beginning area, if I remember correctly. Hey, buddy. Can you eat all of, oh, hey. That was quicker than I remembered. Yes! Yes, I got my key! Okay, you dudes are untrustworthy. Sorry, hen hens. Take a seat. These guys, come, come with me. And by come with me, I mean I am not gonna put you in the water. I swear. I, I, sw I swear, I'm a real trustworthy f Oh, I misclicked. Oh my, all my misclicks. <laughs> I don't want them eating what might fall out of here. <laughs> okay, so they got like a rare fruit or something, you know, just good pogo fruit I can't carry. So now it comes down to, I need to feed, sorry, Tabby Slime. I need to feed the Tabby Gordo, only chickens. So with that said, there are chickens on the ground. Yoink. Stony hen hens being their favorite, so it counts as double food. If I can get some stony hen hens, that'd be swell. But I do need to go back to base, pay a visit there. So let's 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 run. With my first key, what do we want to unlock? Do we want to go to the indigo quarry, or do we want to go to the forest? Which I think they said in an update. Like, I, I really don't follow the game's updates at all, because I think it's just more enjoyable to me to randomly come back to it and, I don't know, just, just, just all fresh to me, you know? But I, I think I saw somewhere in, like, one of the little Steam update thingies that they moved the, the, the forest? I forget, I forget what it's called, but I think they moved the forest. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'd have to check. So... I'm taking a gamble here with a key, whichever one I decide to end up opening, whichever door I decide to open. Let's pick up some last bits of food so we can feed our dudes at base. Any ports that are on the ground? That is the sound of a chicken being eaten in the distance. Uh, you didn't hear that? That's totally too morbid for a game like this. <laughs> he says as he just shoots slimes off an edge. Uh, sorry, chicken. I want the pogo fruits. 
or at least I would like to try to put the pogo fruits in my inventory, and the pink slimes ruined that, never mind. I guess I did try, it just didn't work. Any other carrot deposits here for me? Pogo fruits, no. Wait, 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 wait. I don't have a, I don't have a, I don't have a chicken thing for you. Oh my god, you don't use chickens. Yes! Yes! Get rich or die sliming. For some reason, I thought he only ate chickens. But that was a gold slime. I got a gold plort. Yes! Day two gold plort. Okay. Now we got some monies to work with. I don't, I don't think it's too, too much money. But hey, that was a good get. That was a really good get. I was not expecting a gold. I think in my last playthrough, I only saw two gold slimes in all my playing. And I believe I missed on one of them. Uh, I believe they just poofed on me. Ooh, there's stuff on the floor. All right, let's cash in. 351. Oh, that feels good. Oh, that feels good. So what do we got going on in here? I want my plorts. I want my plorts. I don't want. I don't want slimes. I, I promise you, I don't want you in my face. <laughs> I want slimes. I need to get the plort collector. I think it's so useful. <laughs> Just throwing them around. It's so. It's so mean. Is everybody converted? I think they're all converted. You do still have some food, but I know heartbeats are the the blue things' favorites. At least I think they're the blue things' favorites. The rocky slimes. I'm p sure. I need to get an auto feeder and all that jazz. Keep the hen hen. We'll go feed that to the big tabby gordo. That stands to reason. Let's turn in some of this stuff. All right. Do I want to upgrade my character or maybe my corral? Power core. Yeah, that's the power core. I mean, I don't really care for those at the moment, those upgrades. So what do we got here? Auto feeder 500 or plort collector. Both are useful, but an auto feeder lets me just deposit quite a few. Oh my, wait, that's a new option. You can, you can change it. Oh, that's cool. So previously, these things just had like one default setting and they just did whatever. Now I can change the speed, turtle and bunny. I can make it slow, medium, or fast. I don't know what slow, medium, or fast means in the terms of the setup, but that is nifty. That is new. I'm all for customization and options, so. Ooh, I got like stuck in the wall. So cool. With that said, let's store a few more carrots, leave that stuff on the ground for them, and set out to get some more monies, because I need them. So now I got a little more energy to work with. That's always nice. Uh, I need chickens primarily. I wouldn't mind plorts for the cash though. So it's always easy just to find pink plorts lying around because they're always eating everything that's here. But the chickens generally take me a little bit to build up. Uh, unless I started, uh, unless I made like a, a pen or whatever for them. I wouldn't really be able to farm them up specifically. Uh, it'd be a good idea maybe to get the chickadoos. I see you up here. I see you. I see you. Yeah, I guess I could get the chickadoos and try to raise them, but... Oh! That thing was like popcorn. Did you see that? The chickadoo just turned into a hen head. That looked like popcorn. <laughs> it's like a curdle just turned into popcorn. Well, that works for me. There's another hen head up there, too. Come on, come on, come on. That energy upgrade coming in strong. So it's really nice to have energy upgrades because it lets you fly longer. So yeah, that was a very worthwhile investment. Sadly, I cannot feed the chickadoos to the hen hen, or the, uh, the hen hen, to the, the tabby in here. So I'm not gonna be able to give them these. I guess I just need to hold on to them. Any other hens in here? You guys aren't hens. You're like the opposite of hens. You're all squishy and weird things. Here, eat up. I wonder if they changed the amount these dudes need to eat because it just didn't seem like much. And I'm pretty tempted because I haven't slept yet and the world hasn't loaded in too much like new stuff here. So if I go over here, we'd be loading in a brand spanking new area and I get all kinds of stuff. And all that place is kind of just, it needs time to load. It needs time to like replenish its supplies. I think I just uh, used my slime key here. Press E to use a slime key. It's got a happy face. Happy face. 
I don't really remember the animation too much from last time. The Moss Blanket. Ah, that's what it was called, the Moss Blanket. I think they just did an overhaul of it. I don't remember if they moved it. But this looks different. I don't recall this stuff at all. Huh. Same basic layout. Hello? Okay, so we got some boom slimes, which I'd be a fool to not just take their ports, because I can use that to convert slimes. Uh, pogo fruit. Uh, dried up pogo fruit. That's all like dead stuff here. Cubeberries, ah, uh, that's a water port. That's worth a little bit of money, but not too, too much. Uh, give me the stony hands. And he got eaten. Sorry, buddy. Oh. So they were meat eaters, if I recall. So that's why giving them the pink ports is a good idea, because then you can feed them carrots. They're mewing at me. Meow. Oh, I see a, an H thingy up there. Uh, yeah, I don't need cube rage. I can get them back at my my, my spot. What's what's going on up here? What's 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 the dealio up here? Don't explode in my face, please. That'd be bad. Go 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 over there. The first time I went exploring to the moss blanket, I got stuck here, so I constructed a way out. It's just up yonder. Just up yonder. The only way I remember out was a teleporter far, far away. Uh, this is new. Okay, this this is... This is new to me. Alright. There's a... Treasure... What do I... Oh, maybe I should have checked to see if I used slime keys for that. Somehow I doubt it. Hmm... Uh. Okay, so we gotta remember there's a treasure pod back here and a whole whole area that was unknown to me in the past. How do they expect you to get out of here without a jetpack? I mean, I guess you kind of need one to get here. Uh, I'm not really seeing much of anything up here. What the, what the heck is that? Oh, you see that? It's like I'm sliding on a wall or something. <laughs> like I'm wall running. That was weird. I don't know if I'm supposed to be where I am right now. But I am, so I guess I have to deal. I'm not saying anything new or fancy. This looks different, though. Oh! Another, there's treasure pods everywhere! I need to figure out what to do with these treasure pods. I'm missing out on some stuff here. So we got some kitty slimes everywhere. Not what I particularly need. Still gonna hang on to these boom, uh, boom plorts. Makes the most sense to me. Oh, that's a tart. Oh, that's a couple tarts. Yep, 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 I'm gone. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not gone yet. I lied. I lied, I lied, I lied. I want to go over here first. Yeah. Made it! Hopefully the area up ahead isn't all evil tars. I bet there's a chest up there or something. It just seems like a place to go. So, are we free from the dudes? This looks different. This looks far more open. And whatever this is, is new gigantic blue mushroom okay so I'm not seeing the the mint mangoes that used to be kind of everywhere there's way less boom slimes like explodey dudes oh wait I guess before I progress too far I thought I saw a door back here yeah right here what's this what, what, what's okay all right this place is huge now he just exploded he looks all he looks all constipated. I should have eaten tacos. It would have it would have cleared me out. <laughs> should have gone to Taco Bell. And that man messed up. He didn't go to Taco Bell. I love tacos. <laughs> tabby slime. Eh, give me the tabby port at least for now. So you're double carnivorous because you're a kitty slime and then you're a boom slime. Dash boots. New upgrade available. These highly advanced and frankly fashion forward boots reduce the energy consumption of sprinting. That sounds incredibly useful. This is a nude key door. That was not here. This whole area was not here previous. Uh, oh, chicken, chickens, chickens. Okay, I'm hearing the. Oh, these are the, not the stony hen. Those are the briar ones. I'm looking for like actual chickens, adult chickens that we can feed. As, as horrible as that sounds. Uh, these are just cubeberries. So let's go back the way we came. I need to find the uh, supposed way out of here that he said he constructed just up yonder. Unless, hold on. Was that talking about this? That would make sense. Was was this what he was talking about? Just to, yep, just to jump back. Okay, so that 
that stands to reason. I think I explore a little bit more, try to get a few more of these plorts, you know, um, like complete my stack, and then go back. If I can get some more hens, that'd be fantastic. I know briar hens are the ones we're supposed to find here, so I may drop my stony hen. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. Here's a new, new little thing here. The moss blanket may seem like an ancient jungle of sorts, but the fact, um, excuse me, but the fact is much of what you see here wasn't even here when I first began exploring this land. At this rate, I reckon that it won't be here long, or won't be long before this greenery completely takes the far, far range. So it's just, it's just growing and growing and what the heck? Is that like a bunch of rubber, is that like a rubber band ball? What is this supposed to be? Dunk. I don't know what this is. I, I, I don't know what that is. It looks like a rubber band ball. Or a really twisted volleyball. Those are some sad looking carrots. Why are they green? Why are they green? Here, have some carrots. Eat up. I, I need the chickens. So regular chickens are obviously just as common. What's what's this thing do? Don't. I guess it's telling me to go to sleep. <laughs> they keep meowing at me. Meow. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. That is, uh, that is strange. All right. <laughs> Thought a chicken might have spawned behind me. I heard a gunk noise. Anything else over here? This is this is the way I came. Uh, oh, chicken. Nope. We're doing chickens. 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 They ate. So there must have been chickens here at one point. I think this is continuing the big main room that I was in. Yeah, I see two doors. I'm, do I'm doing my best here to map this new area out and get a feel for the place. Uh, oh, okay, there's another treasure pod, good to know. There's treasure pods everywhere, I gotta figure out what to do with these. There's like eight that I know of right now. Hey, Brewstro. You dancing? Did, 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 did somebody fall down a well? Did, did somebody fall down a well? What, what are you trying to tell me? You're going to get eaten now. There's, there's a tabby cat. There. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that dance was for. Hey, Matt. Hey. Uh, yeah, there's a lot more to <laughs> the moss blanket than what I remember. The moss blanket probably would have been like as big as I am circling on the map. This is like all new. Yeah, I think it makes sense now that we go back to base. I think that is a half decent decision. Shall we? Let's return. Let's return. It'd be fun to stay here and keep looting all this stuff, but truth be told, my inventory is full. Oh! Hey, hey. Get in my belly! Get in my belly! No, go away! Not you. I need the chickens. That is good. Okay, that is uh, that is tabby fodder, if you will. <laughs> so that worked out pretty darn well. Oh, oh, got some explosions where I'm trying to go. I don't know what the, I don't know what your deal is, buddy. I don't know what your deal is, but you need to knock it off. Okay, let's go feed some chickens to the gigantic tabby gordo. I don't know if I should have made that jump, but thank God I had a jetpack. <laughs> that could have been poor. That could have been pretty poor, but it went all right. So I'll save my energy here, just run right past these angry dudes. Which it looks like they just despawned, I guess, because of the new day. I guess because of the new day. I'm not here, ignore me. I'm not here right now. Okay, we're good, we're safe. Damn, that one was that one was flying behind me, I could see a shadow. So, is this enough to feed you? Nope, these ones are always a pain in the butt for me to feed. Because chick, ouch, chickens are not easy for me to come by. I feel like a lot of the times it's just it's a hard thing. Even when you, even when I was growing them, like raising them, it was it was hard. Ah, no god, it was it was hard to keep them in supply for my tabby cats. It just didn't seem like they reproduced quick enough. I even had like all the upgrades on that on that thing too in the past. So I don't know what to tell you. But let's go back to base, save these bloom, uh, boom plorts, and maybe put a... Well, phosphor slimes are worth more. So what if I did like a boom phosphor slime, and I put an air net over there, we can we convert them, we put the uh, the solar panel or whatever on there, 
I've got the money, or at least I should be able to get the money here with all the ports that are on the ground. And then I create a... It'd be worth a good bit because two of these ports... Yeah, the, yeah. Th those two ports are worth quite a bit. Tell you what, I think I will retire these guys. I think I'll retire them. Um, <laughs> sorry, dudes. You've served your usefulness. <laughs> Ouch. You, sir, you served your usefulness. But, guys, it is time to wrap the episode up here. Episode 2 of Slime Rancher. Oh, God. I hope you are enjoying the Slime Rancher shenanigans. Uh, I certainly am. It's... It's, it's good. It feels good to, you know, it feels good to play this game every now and again. It's, it's fun. Okay? It's fun. There's nothing wrong with a grown man playing with a bunch of giant, like, fluffy slime and things and cuddlies and smiles and stuff. Alright? There's nothing weird about it. I promise. It's okay. <laughs> I might need to go do some manly activities after this, like go punch a wall to reclaim some of my manly, <laughs> but I'm having fun, so you leave me alone. So, again, wrap it up here, guys, episode two. Thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you next time.